this is Tom with the community team and today we're going to take a look at how to filter through your security policy. One of the easiest ways is to actually just type in any keyword you're looking for anywhere uh, in your policy. So if you're looking for example I have vWire here, you can just go ahead and type vWire and it's going to filter any keyword out. In this case only one security rule is going to pop up. If I'm looking for anything else, anywhere else, just type in whatever you need. Oh. And it's just going to return you anything that matches. One caveat here is you're looking through what is essentially an XML configuration. So your strings need to match whatever you're looking for. You can't use any wildcards. You can't use a submit mask, but you can type anything else that, that could slightly match. So for example, I have a couple of IP addresses here. If I'm looking for a specific IP submit, I can go ahead and type this, and this will give me anything that matches that particular submit. Another way to filter is to use the tag browser. I've tagged a bunch of my security policies and a couple of my zones. And now I have a list of available tags in the tag browser. And if I'm looking for anything in particular, I can just go ahead and mark those tags and it'll populate my uh, visible area. Lastly, we can use traditional searches. Uh, the hard way is to actually type a search string here. The easy way is to use a drop down menu for any of these columns. As you can see, there's a filter which will automatically create a filter string. So if you want to go look for V1 Trust destination V1 Untrust, it's just as easy as that. We can expand on that if we want to look for any policy that has allow as an action or deny or for example any particular profile. I want to look for the anti-spyware profile block all. Oh, oops. If I want to look for I need to filter and not global find. So anti-spyware block all. And that's going to give me all the policies that contain this specific anti-spyware profile. You can see that the string here is a little uh, odd in comparison to the monitor filters. That's because we are actually looking at the XML file. There are a couple of searches that don't have a drop-down op drop option, like for example the rule type. You can only search for intra-zone or inter-zone. There's no search for universal. So if you want to search for any intra or inter zone policies, you go ahead and go type that rule type equal intra zone and hit enter and it's going to return all the intra zone, same for inter zone like that. Another one you don't have a drop down for, for is uh, the disabled and enabled policy. So if you can, if you take a look at these policies, they've been disabled. If you want to search for anything that's been disabled, if you have a very lengthy rule base and you just want to take a look at what was disabled, go ahead and disabled equals yes. I've created a list of all the available search options in your security policy in the article that's been linked below. So please feel free to go visit that. Uh, if you've got any comments, um, leave them below, leave them in the article. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can watch all our new videos when they come out. Thanks for watching.